Good evening and welcome. There have been protests around the country by Leaving Cert students and others to highlight their concerns over continuing industrial action by secondary school teachers. About 5,000 students from 30 schools are reckoned to have taken part in the protests. In Athlone, 600 pupils staged a demonstration at the Department of Education's examination branch. They said they were seeking confirmation of a new date for the postponed oral exams. It was a bitter message from the people who are hurting most. With just over 70 days to go to the first Leaving Cert exam, today was the day when the students made their voice heard. We have to show them that we're not going to be pawns in their game any longer. It's not fair on us. There's people here, we haven't finished some of our courses and we're expected to do our Leaving Cert. This is not fair. With ASTI Industrial Action closing schools nationwide tomorrow and on Thursday, Leaving Cert classes were disrupted at schools in at least 14 counties. Two of Galway's largest secondary schools were affected. In the northwest, students in Enniscrone protested on the streets. And in Dublin city schools and county centres were left without Leaving Cert students. The teachers seem to have made their approaches for long enough and we want our say. We want them to see that we care about our exams and we care about what we learn in school. And we don't want any more strike days. We don't want to be a disadvantage to any years that have gone before us. By midday, 500 students had converged on the Department of Education's examination branch in Athlone, demanding a new date for their oral exams. It's hard because we're under enough stress as it is doing the leaving cert. And like, we don't know, need to stress, like our orals are postponed already. And like, we don't even know what the exams are going ahead. We're really sick of the way the teachers are acting. And we're, it's nothing against them personally, but you know, we, are, we need to do our orals. We need the exams checked by people who are able to do it. And uh, that's not what they're offering at the moment, so we want to have our say. The sheer scale of today's protest was unprecedented, with students from Letterkenny to Mitchellstown staying out of class. And tomorrow, they take their campaign to the capital, with a major protest scheduled for the gates of Leinster House at midday. Kira Malouli, RTE News, at the Department of Education Exams Branch in Athlone. Newspaper ads placed by the Department of Education today seeking supervisors for the leaving and junior cert exams. Another indication that a resolution of this pay dispute may still be a long way off. Students face two more days of closure tomorrow and on Thursday, becoming increasingly restless and angry. But in the Doyle, the Taoiseach urged them not to abandon the classes still available to them. I understand their frustration, I understand the number of days they've lost, uh, but to abandon their, uh, their classes uh, when their classes are there, uh, I, I just believe that will uh, not serve them well and certainly will not help to resolve this. Today was the final day for submissions to the benchmarking body. The INTO and TUI are in. The ASTI is out. What we have here is a blueprint for the future of the, te of the, of the teaching profession. That is what's there. We will ins insist during benchmarking and we will achieve during benchmarking the application to public servants as teachers, uh, those kind of increases which other private sector groups have got over the last 18 months to two years. The timetable for benchmarking looks like this. So originally asked to report by the end of 2002, that report has been brought forward to June 2002. And 25% of any increase will take effect from December 1st, 2001. I think there's an expectation that pay will increase. I think the level of expectation will vary from union to union. Certainly there is clear evidence that we're experiencing recruitment and retention problems in the public sector. Those problems exist because comparable jobs in the private sector are more attractive. Despite the confidence of public sector unions, the ASTI continues to rule out benchmarking. But the problem is there's no alternative, and that's why this dispute will continue with more pickets and more student protests tomorrow. Peter Klusky, RTE News in Dublin.